Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Hip.io. Today's video is how to install and configure Radar. Uh, Radar is essentially a alternative to Couch Potato. And if you guys aren't familiar with Couch Potato, that means absolutely nothing to you then. So what this is and what Couch Potato is, is it's, a, it's programs that you tell what movies you want and it will go out and scour your sources for torrents, news groups. It goes out there, um, downloads it, puts it in the folders you want, renames it, does all that fun stuff. So it puts all the work out of actually having to go out there and do stuff yourself. So here we are at my QNAP interface here, I'm showing all the applications I have installed. And now we're gonna go straight into the App Center. And this tutorial is also, I'm making the assumption that you've already installed the third party app store for the QNAP club. And if you haven't already installed that, that third party repository, I have another video that you guys could take a look at showing you how to add it to your QNAP. So you can make us life easier for yourself to download third party add-ons. So um, now we'll just go into the QNAP club over here. And now in this big list here, we're gonna search for radar. And here it is. It's not the same icon that we're accustomed to with the yellow and the black, but this is um, radar. So we'll just click on install here. Now that the installation has been complete, we'll just, we'll go over to our desktop here. Just hit the little X here. And we'll just take a look for radar. So it's over here on the second page. So it's right over here and we'll just launch it. And there we go. Radar is now installed. Now that our installation has completed, we're gonna get right into the Radar application. Uh, just open up your web browser and make sure that you type in localhost port 7878, as you see right here. That's the default location. If you are connecting from a different computer, obviously you'd put in the IP of the server you're connecting to, as well as the port. Right off the bat, I'm gonna take you into settings. And here you're gonna see a bunch of different tabs here with different um, categories. Uh, on the media management tab, movie naming, uh, this is a good option if you like to have your movies named a particular way. So after it downloads it, it will break it down into the naming convention that you like. So you can include the quality, uh, replace spaces, um, and then here's the example of how it's gonna show up and the movie folder name. Now we'll go into the profiles tab. And this here is gonna be the different qualities that you can choose. You can make your own here. I don't see the need to alter any of these, so um, I just leave it as is. Next, we'll go into quality. And this is where you're gonna set what the minimum and maximum file size is for the particular uh, quality that you want to download is. So for example, DVD here, uh, it says, the maximum for a 90 minute movie is gonna be 8.79 gigs. The maximum for a 140 minute movie is gonna be 13 gigs. And over to the left here, the minimum size would be zero. So we'll bump that up and say, hey, I want the minimum size to be two gigs. And that's essentially it for that. Indexer, uh, what you would do is you would select here, you would, you would put here whoever your indexer is, as well as if you are using torrents, you could put over here who your um, torrent provider is. If you are using indexers, just be sure you may wanna throw in the minimum age here and the minimum retention, uh, that's up to you. Next, we'll click on download client. Here, if you're using, for example, um, news groups, you would choose NZB get, that's, um, I have a video on that. So if you go through my videos, you can see I have a video of how to set up and configure it. Uh, here, you'll have the torrent options, hit close. Now we'll go into lists and here, what lists are gonna be is you can have your uh, radar hooked up to let's say Tracked. So if you input a movie uh, that you wanna see on Tracked, it will automatically sync up and throw it into your wanted list. So here, if we just go here, you'll see there's Tracked, TMDB list, Couch Potato. So I guess this integrates. I've never tried this. Uh, let's click Close, Connect. If you do this, you can tell it what system you wanna to connect to. So if you have a Plex server or if you have a Kodi server, um, it will send a notification to those devices. We'll hit close here. Next, the metadata tab, exactly how it is. If you wanted to download the metadata for you, you would just enable it over here. General, uh, here's the port number. You can have a, a URL over here. Uh, here's the API key, which you'll probably need if you want to hook it up into a third-party app, something like NZB360. And next, we'll just go into the UI here, 
and here will be how you want to set up the calendar, uh, the date formatting and the styling here. And just make sure after you go through every tab and if you're actually making any changes, make sure you hit save. And you'll see here that it's going through and telling you it's been saved. So now I'll go back here to the movie tab and I'll show you how to add a movie. To add a movie, just hit the green button here saying add a movie, pretty self-explanatory. We type in the movie that we want. I'll type in Euro Trip. And here it shows that it has been released and here's a brief description. So for the path, this is gonna be the location of where you want the movie to go. So in my example, I'm gonna put C movies. So I'll put add a different path. So here I'll select my C drive and I've selected C movies. It's just a blank folder I have on my computer here. Just hit okay. And then we'll just hit the check mark over here to make sure we save it. And we'll hit close. And now you'll see that the option here for the path is C movies. Having this monitoring set to yes, what that does is let's say this movie was good to be released in let's say 2018. It would just keep looking through the feeds to make sure that, hey, if I see this movie, it will download automatically. And obviously here is the profile setting that we would want to use. So you can set this to whatever you consider your your base or whatever you're, you, you're willing to watch. So you could say any, um, let's say you want to watch a cam or something. And then you just hit the plus sign here. And over here we have calendar. Here you'd, if you had a bunch of movies coming in, it would show uh, what's in the cinemas, what's being announced, downloading, etc. cetera. Um, I have a blank system here, so I'm not gonna be able to show you that detail. Activity will show you if there's a movie being downloaded and if it's in queue. Um, obviously there's blacklist here, so what it considers a blacklist, it will not download. Wanted, so this is whatever I want wanted. So you'll see that Eurotrip is here. It hasn't picked it up yet. So it will just show here as um, being wanted. Lastly, if you are using a system to um, download something like NCB Get, you'll just wanna make sure that you set the category in NCB Get to match whatever it is in here. So I'll just flip back in here because I, I believe I forgot to mention what it was. So I'll just go back here into settings, download client, and then we'll click the plus sign here and we'll choose NCB Get. And here you'll see that it does show the category as movies. So you just need to make sure that exists over an NCB Get. So that concludes the video for Radar. It's a good alternative to Couch Potato if you just wanna try something out new. Just remember this is in the pre-release phase so there may be things that sometimes don't work properly like you're used to. So hopefully this um, video was informative for you. Smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.